guys, how's it going? My name is Lama DFX, and today I have a video that I actually told you I was going to do last Warlords video, but I didn't. So I'm going to show you and tour you around this place, this little cave I told you about, that has all the weapons in it and stuff. I was going to show you this at the end of the video, but the video ran out of time. So yeah, this is just basically all the, the green weapons, the commons. So you just got like scimitar, hammer, Chinese pike, walking stick, training sword, hatchet, bludgeon, what's a bludgeon? Oh, it's that, all caps, claws or steel sword, and this basically, this comes into the rare weapons, which are, are they blues? I'm not too sure, oh, let's check that quickly, blues are the I believe they are blues and then it goes into purples and then yeah I guess that's what it is I'm not using my I guess I don't know why I have this up I think I was just checking it out let's just get that the name just throughout and then this is the rares the demon blade the venom strike that looks pretty cool the gem axe I have one of those the golden gladius I don't have one of them mandibles and the granite mallet it rhymes, it's pretty cool. So th we're still in the, um, obviously, rares. Um, the halberd. Double sided axe, I think I have one of them. Also, I also have a halberd. Blue crystal staff looks pretty cool. And a cudgel, or a cudgel, I don't know. Here we go into the helms and armor. Basically, these are all the armors for, like, I think there's them aside the helmets, too. So yeah, this is all the different armors you can get, the blue and the red obviously, blue on the left and red being on the right. Um, now if we go to the helmets, here are the mage, the three mage ones. This is the normal mage one, I haven't spent any one. Then it goes onto with ones with highlights in it. And then it's got flames around it, kind of like a ninja mask by the end of it. Then this is the um, paladin one. Obviously starts with no horns, then gets little tiny horns, and then gets massive horns. The next one being the warrior. Starting with these tiny horns, medium horns, and then getting massive horns. Obviously, it's the same on the other side with the red, which basically is just the same as you can see over here. But the highlights, the flames, bigger horns on both the paladin and the warriors. Now we go into the epic weapons, which are the purples. Here we have a magma sword, a demon eye, a diamond spark, which was which I mentioned in that other warlords video, I believe it is. Number three or four, when my brother's first game of Warlords, he won the game or I don't know, he might have lost it. But on the the um um the um unbox weapon, the broken weapon, he got turned into this on his first unboxing. Obviously, that's the Diamond Spark, the Zwe Reaper. Probably pronounced that wrong. Runic Blade looks pretty cool. Elven Greatsword. A never steal katana, someone just got one of those, I believe. Oh, that's just me equipping one, but up here, someone got one. Ne Mighty never steal katana of the defender. This guy got one, pretty cool for him. Katar, which is basically just a little dagger coming out of your hands. Gnome Gustas, what I got here? Yeah, look, he changed it at the same time. Yeah, come on, let's go, Gnome Gustas buddies. But it's in like capital, um, capitals and exclamation marks. And this is the gem, gem crusher looks pretty awesome. I believe this does change colour too, go green and blue or stuff. That looks pretty cool. And then you've got the tooth crusher here, pretty awesome. It looks like it's got teeth on it too. Then you've got a runic axe, there's also a runic blade back there. That one I believe it is. Sorry, I haven't got my optifying on, I, t I turned it off because I think it was affecting my game for the worst. And here we have a lunar relic um, weapon. There's nothing here, it's just a sleeve head. Hello. Uh, then you have a divine rage, which is this cool weapon. A uh, hammer of the light, which is pretty cool. It looks like some sort of heavenly weapon. It's like all the white and the gold on it and stuff like that. Now we go into the legendary weapons hall. A lot of these legendary weapons are missing. I'll start on the right. This one is the Foul Flower Void Twig. Last episode, I mistake a Ruby Thorn for one of these. We'll obviously check out the Ruby Thorn in the centre, the rarest of them all. 
at the last moment. It's got little magic sparks around it. It's so cool, that weapon. I loved it on one day. This is the Rune Mace Brocco Man. It looks like broccoli. It's actually pretty cool looking as you can see. You get a 360 view on that. I love what they've done. I really appreciate the work all the Hypixel team and Hypixel put into this. It's just if we like, it completely makes a change to your game the way you can just have all these awesome 3D models. The Ice Shard Frostbite that looks awesome, guys. I've seen a lot of people with these. It seems to be the easiest to get. It's got look, all these little things have particles on them, and it's pretty awesome if you ask me, guys. I want like I say, I want to thank Hypix on his team for doing this. There's none in here. That's just a big gate. I like the way they've sort of set this up with the tree and all the big walls and gates around. Here is the Drake Fang Giant Bone. Before, when I wasn't recording, you can actually see any of these when I look in. But now I'm recording, it seems to be putting on a quite good show. So this was the Drake Fang Giant Bone. Like I said, it looks pretty awesome. It has like little red sparkles on it. If you can, if it will just do that for us again. Come on. Oh, we're gone. But there we go. There we go, guys. As I walk up, it does it. So um, here we have over here. We actually get to it. Is the Abaddon Ultra Smasher? This looks epic. Look, it has the blade sparkles as well, and I love how it's just a freebie model, just smashes around. This is like a mixture of like sand and stuff like that. I think just this building, and down going on to the more left side of the thing, um, like the last one, Arcane Blade Ender Fist. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's this little thing. There you go. That looks pretty cool, if you ask me. Like a little claw sort of thing. If you can just get out and go to the straight to this ruby thorn over here. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. There's a little bridge and everything. It's got a really big show on for it. Ruby thorn. There you go, guys. That looks epic. I've hardly ever seen anyone with these. As you can see, it has flashing and this little zigzaggy pattern on it, which looks absolutely epic, if you ask me. So if you want to find this, I'll just go back to the beginning and show you all the way through. You just have to keep going down through the sections, it gets rarer as you go further in. So if you go, just go back up this staircase out of this giant epic room. Obviously he's legendary, on to the epic weapons. Right now I'm just going to run this uh, down here. Now in the next room is the armor, if, this is just going backwards guys, remember this. So this this is not the order it goes in because you obviously save the best for last. So they say these are the rare, and now these are the common weapons. Um, so obviously we'll start with the common. This is just the the, the um starter weapon, and then other ones will just get better as you go along, unlocking better ones like that, guys. So obviously this here. Sorry, my game is lagging a slight bit. Um, there's the portal over here, and if you, when you log on, you'll be obviously be facing this way. Go to the right and down here, past the blacksmith area with the burning coal and everything, and you just go down that cave, guys, just for the directions if you wanted to know. So I want to thank you for watching this awesome video, guys. Oh, someone got a legendary. The vanquishers Abaddon. GG. Let's write, and also let's write, um, well done, well done. That is epic, guys. Someone gets a legendary midway through the recording. So, if you obviously, if you've seen Lightning Bolt, someone has got a legendary, or you have, you may be that lucky person. So, yeah, if you enjoyed um, this video, make sure to also check out the little cave with all the weapons in it because it is really awesome. I do advise you to check that out because it's just epic, guys. You can just see all the weapons in it and it's sort of like a showcase show off sort of really more. You have like maybe like a we have a trophy cabinet. It's basically just that for warlords guys. So yeah make sure to check that out. If you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching as always guys. Um and yeah thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.